friends uh, welcome back uh, we are going to see about uh, three or uh, four very important and uh, very simple topics in um, computer architecture you can call it embedded systems you can call it wherever you go these topics will be there in the picture so the first topic to uh, look into is cisc versus risk uh, complex instruction set computer uh, reduced instruction set computer we are going to discuss the difference between these two uh, in a very simple as well as uh, effective manner uh i hope you guys will definitely understand let's get into the picture now um let's take uh, apple computers let's take intel computers intel uh, um, who are manufacturing chips i mean the processor whenever you take uh, intel they strongly believe that uh, the programmer's life has to be uh, very very simple uh, in the sense whenever a developer is using intel chip uh, they want it to be Uh, very easy the life of the developer uh, should be very easy in the sense they should write a minimal number of lines of code uh, making the hardware do most of the things but apple believes the way around apple believes that the hardware should uh, actually uh, be simple the software has to lift more responsibility in the sense the developers who write the code should write more number of lines so if you write minimum number of lines that means you should take up the intel's architecture if you are willing to go with uh, more number of lines where the hardware's responsibility is lowered you can go with apple's architecture so both are still in existence uh, both compete with each other both cannot be kicked out of the market they both are approaches that we are following for a long long time so now to get into the understanding better uh, i would show you an example that example would make your understanding easier now to multiply two numbers say multiply um, two numbers which are in uh, say uh, registers r1 and r2 i can directly use an instruction by name mul r1 and r2 in the cisc approach which is intel's approach here i directly have multiplication instruction available which can access the contents out from the registers r1 and r2 and it can store the result back to r1 this is intel's approach now i cannot actually do the same thing with respect to a uh, risk approach where i need to follow the load and store architecture uh, i need to really use load into some register from a location you can see that here i have to use load r2 from location 1200 similarly i have to use a uh, load r1 from some other location 1000 which is hidden by the um, i can't here uh, now i need to multiply now the single instruction would be capable of doing the multiplication without you explicitly specifying uh, the location or anything else this is very simple but here you need to really load the content into the register and then only you can operate with an instruction called mul or product or anything and then you need to again store the result back into the location from a register this is called load and store architecture which is the risk approach where the cisc approach is not load and store it does not effectively want you to uh, load the content in the register and then uh, explicitly load the content in the register from a location and then to operate here one can see that i have just one line of code used in the cisc approach where i needed four lines of code in the uh, risk approach which eventually is a problem for a developer uh, who really does not like to write uh, longer lines of code so this is the major difference a uh, risk makes it a uh, little lengthy where cisc makes it Uh, very simple but where is the complexity coming what is the complex called as the hardware is the complexity that we are talking about in intel cisc which is complex instruction set computer the hardware takes over all the pain but in risk the software takes over all the pain it is better to compare these two in a tabular format that's what i'm going to show you right now now uh, we will have the comparison done first one uh, risc is more oriented more towards software that's what i told you reduced instruction set computer where the complexity is more towards the number of lines of code that the programmer writes but cisc is not like that cisc is towards harder complexity the programmer will have to write very uh, lesser number of lines of code in risc all the instructions are one clock cycle based instruction um, but in cisc it is not that it is it is really variable uh, load and store approach is definitely followed in uh, risc architecture uh, whereas it is not load and store explicitly we need not use load and store it is capable to uh, fetch the instruct fetch the content right away from the registers or locations without you explicitly loading and storing uh, load and store when you use it normally requires uh, it normally requires a, a lot of registers to be used as you know you can i am highlighting here as you know whenever i use load and store i involve a lot of register which means that i definitely need to have a lot of general purpose registers in my uh, processor architecture but here i need not go with that hence i have a limited general purpose number of architectures 
since it is a load and store and also uh, it is easier for uh, as to think of pipe planning multiplication is done by a uh, four instructions with the example that i have shown so i can do a fetch decode execute uh, analysis properly and then i can go ahead with uh, use of uh, pipe planning in this architecture uh, sisk it is not really easy we need to do a lot of consideration related stuff um, not many formats are used in uh, um, risk it's, it's all mostly similar so but multiple formattings are multiple formats are supported here in the instruction some instruction can be uh, of 16 bit long some instruction can be 32 bit long but if you take the risk architecture it's all consistent it's going to be 32 bit architecture it's going to be 32 bit throughout and uh, risk architecture does not have so many addressing modes but sisk supports so many addressing modes because they have different format supported that's it it's a very simple topic sisk is complexity for the hardware risk is complexity for the software that's all when you take risk you may have to write more number of codes when you take sisk you may have to write limited number of lines of code that's it Thank you very much. I look forward to see you again in my channel's next lecture. Thank you.